Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Welcome to this quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your craft bucket server to uh, 1.1 and or any artifact that you'd like to. It's a very simple process to do and what we can do to begin is simply open up the uh, website we're going to be using. The link is in the description so make sure you check that out or else you're not going to be able to download it. Or you can look it up on Google, you'll find it too. As you can see, we found the Jenkins uh, file area with the project that he's been working on for Craft Bucket 1.1. Simply to download, we find the latest or uh, last successful build, as you can see here. We're going to click it to download it and keep it if you're using uh, Google Chrome and or run it or save it using Internet Explorer and stuff like that. Okay, and now that it's finished uh, downloading, what we're going to do is copy and paste it into our uh, server folder by going to our server folder and simply pasting it in the area right next to where it says craft bucket dash uh, 0 .0 0.0.1 slash snapshot control V and it should add it um, it's gonna take a couple of seconds probably alright so now that it added it I don't know what took it so long to do so but alright now so we have the file on here now in order to make it run as you can see we start lightcraft Right now, it's not going to run it on uh, 1.1. It's going to run it on 1.01. As you can see, I have the artifact right here. And if we just pause right there, you can see at the top, 1.01 craft bucket version git uh, bucket 1.01. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. If you open up your bat file or you click it to in Windows 7, you'll see it on the side right here where it says program files craft bucket dash 0.0.1 slash snapshot. And we don't want the bat file to read that in order to make it read 1.1. We're simply going to uh, right click the uh, bat file, rename, and control C in order to do it quickly and just click away. And then uh, open up the bat file with the uh, notepad plus plus or whatever notepad program you have. Uh, any works it doesn't really matter well, let me close my uh, Google Chrome um, simply go to your uh, batch file and control V and now it's gonna open up craft bucket dash 1.1 dash r1 dash snapshot now we have to add the dot jar extension on it to make it an actual file to read or else it's just gonna be saying a bunch of like error codes and now that it's done, we saved it, and we want to keep this one as a backup just in case so we don't want to run into any problems later on. We're going to run Lightcraft, the server, and it should work just fine. As you can see, it's running on version 1.1, loading properties, starting Minecraft server on 5.203.136.121, colon 25565, which is my server name. Join it. It's not online all the time. I apologize for that. Again, it's not a 24-7 server, and it's not very uh, well uh, managed, but I've been working on it for a while. I have my own website and everything for it, so check them out. Uh, the link to the website is also in the description, and as you can see here, it works. Run Minecraft, and it should work just fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry for uh, it's taking a little bit longer on some parts. Uh, it's, it was a little bit laggy trying to record, but that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Leave any questions in the comments and thanks for watching. See ya.